hello. You join me on our way into Chester. Out for a nice ride on a Sunday. Actually got the chance. And um, it's not just me and Mike. Two others with us. We've got Andy and we've got Amy. Amy is Mike's girlfriend. Andy is my girlfriend. I mean, no. Andy's um, one of uh, one of the prospects for the club. So he's come out with us today. But he is also a friend. Just to point that out. We're not just taking him out just because he's trying to join the club. That's where we are. Manly, yes. Mike giving the good old manly sign. Oh, swap bag. And the daffodils are still out. Oh, what they're selling? Get a lot of that round here. People selling stuff on the front of their driveways. I always wonder what on earth, what kind of tax dodger are you on? I suppose it's a good way if you've got an apple tree in your garden and well you've just got too many apples because nobody needs that much apples. You could probably sell them but you can't really uh, quit your day job over it. old people that don't know how to use eBay. And you think about it, you get a lot of people on eBay like selling, you know, the, the worn underwear and worn socks and, you know, for, the, for those fetishists. And was there really a market for that before the internet? Like, was there these things at the side of the road where you know, the end of people's driveways, like selling the wife's underwear or anything like that. It just makes you think, doesn't it? Because really, there wasn't a market for it until the internet came about. Or unless you popped over gardens and took people washing. I don't know. I'm not one of these people, but... really see that it's usually people selling like the caravans or the cars or old books at the end of the driveway not old knickers and stockings what have I just spoke about see if I can get a wave off these ah oh. foiled me plans hello Hello! Hello! <laughs> Tiny horses! I really need to think up of some sort of subject material because I'm going to get locked up if I keep spouting bollocks. It'd be nice if I could have like an intercom with Mike. Because at least then if there's two of us spouting bollocks there's an excuse of where the ideas come from. Whereas when it's just me on my own thinking about people selling their bras and knickers and underwear at, uh, at the end of the driveway I think that's cause for getting, uh, getting sectioned. So I think with all these restrictions being lifted every bugger's on the road Absolutely every bugger. Just trying to get past Sutty in his bloody camper van. Cheers Sutty. He said, do you want to jump cut, ride about and then fucked off. You can't see my face but I'm looking at him with disdain. At least I warned you about your jump yeah, you did. It'll make editing much easier. Littleton. This is where Mike bought his legs. 
because he's got tiny little legs. It's funny trying to see him ride this. If he rides anything taller than that bike, even on that bike he struggles. He's going to kill me if he... Uh, <laughs> oh, when he sees this. Well, welcome to Chester everybody. We made it, finally. down to the riverfront and have some ice cream down the oh that's gone I thought I'd do a kind deed. Yeah. Only because this is on, I couldn't care less if it weren't. <laughs> <laughs> that place looks like a boat. When did all this become double yellows? Eh? When did all this become double yellows? No, Has it? Fucking super mozos. <laughs> Did you see him move? <laughs> 